What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're going to start to look at modern tkinter GUI design with custom kinter. I guess like I said, in this video, we're going to start to look at modern GUI design with custom kinter. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing's awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. All right, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to look at custom tkinter. And in the last many videos, we've been looking at TTK Bootstrap as sort of a modern GUI library for Kinter. But there's another one out there a lot of people don't know about. It's custom Kinter. And I'm not going to say one is better than the other because they're not. They're both very different but they both bring very different things to the table, different looks and feels. So it really just depends on what your preference is, what you're trying to build, how you want it to look, as to which of those modern GUI libraries you'll choose. But in this playlist, we're going to look at custom Kinter. And you can see this is an image of one right here. This is from the documentation. You can see it has a really cool dark theme. There's also a light theme. We'll look at that. There are only really three theme colors to choose from. You can use blue, dark blue, and green, and we'll take a look at those. Of course, each of those three work for the light theme or the dark theme, and we'll get into all this stuff. So before we get into this, I just want to kind of head over to the documentation. Go to github.com forward slash Tom Shemansky. That's the guy that made this thing. Forward slash custom Kinter. And here is the sort of the old documentation. There's also a new documentation at this guy's website. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But you can see we've got the dark theme here and the light theme here. It looks much better than regular Kinter, but it doesn't have that sort of, I don't know, I'd call it bubblegum cartoony look that TTK Bootstrap has under certain circumstances. This is more kind of modern looking and neat. So before we get into this, let's take a minute and just look at this custom tkinter.tomshamansky.com. That's this guy's website. Click on documentation and you can get the entire documentation for all of this thing. Uh, colors and themes, scaling. Here's a list of all the widgets. And we're going to get into all of this stuff in great detail. We're going to go over all of these widgets. In this video, I'm just sort of introducing you guys to this. And we'll play around with this a little bit just to get it up and running. But for now, I want to come back over here to the GitHub page and just come down here and show you that how to install this. From your Git Bash terminal, you would just pip3 install custom Kinter. Or if you're on a Windows, just pip install custom Kinter. That should work fine. I am going to upgrade mine because I'm not sure exactly when the last time I installed this. And there have been many changes since this first came out year, year or two ago, whenever that was. So I'm going to come over to my terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory. It doesn't really matter what directory. I'm not using a virtual environment. So I can just paste in this thing here. And this should update everything. All right. And now we're good to go. So Let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this custom tkinter series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic kinter starter code that we've always had. I'm calling this custom.py. And we need to do a few things in order to make this a custom tkinter app. Right? So if we come over to the documentation, it shows us exactly what to do. First, we need to import custom tkinter after we've already pip installed it. So Let's come back here and up at the top, we'll paste that in. Now, normally to create an app, we create a TK instance, a tkinter instance. But in this case, we do it a little bit differently. And we can see from the documentation right here, we create this CTK instance. So let me just copy this here and paste it in. So it's root equals custom tkinter dot CTK. Notice the C and the T are capitalized and we're good to go there. Now we also need to set the theme and color options, right? And let's come up down and let's come over here. And that's just these two lines right here. There we go. Copy these and we'll look at these in more detail as we go here. Uh, but we could see first we want to set the appearance and this is where you set it to light or dark mode. Now system is the default, but basically that's the same as light. And we'll take a look at that in a second or there's also dark. So those are your sort of two basic options three slash two, right? Basically two. Then you have set default color theme and it's set to blue. So you can have blue, which is the default, dark blue and green. And we'll look at all of these in just a second so you can see what they look like. So that's pretty much it. So let's come down here and let's create a button, my underscore button. 
just to have something to put on the screen so that we could look at it. Now, normally we would call, you know, a Kinter button, right? But that's not quite how this works. As we come down here, we can see we call a custom to Kinter dot CTK button. And that's how most of the, all the widgets are. It's custom to Kinter dot, and then CT is capitalized, lowercase K, and then uppercase B and button. And then you just go on and use it pretty much as you would normally. So we want to put this in a root. Let's have the text say, uh, hello world. And we don't want a command for now. We just want to put this on the screen just to kind of look at it. So let's go my underscore button dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of like, I don't know, 80 or something to really push it down the screen. So let's go ahead and save this and run it and see what we've got here. So I'm in my ctkinter.com directory. Let's go Python custom.py. And what we do, here's what we get. Now this is the default, this is the system, and this is the blue theme. So right off the bat, it looks a little bit more modern than regular tkinter, right? It's sort of flat, but yet still a little bit more modern. The button is rounded, it's blue. It changes color when you hover over it, and when you click it. All right, so that's the system with blue. Let's change this now to the light. So, and you'll see it's basically the same thing. So if we save this and run it, we see, again, it's basically the same thing, right? So, okay, nothing too interesting there. Uh, what I really like about this is the dark theme, so we could change that to dark. Come back over here and run this guy, and now we get the dark theme. Pretty cool. Now your title bar is gonna look different depending on what type of windows you have, Windows 10, Windows 11, etc. I'm on Windows, I don't know, 11, 10? I don't know. I think I'm on 10 on this computer, right? So it looks like this. So uh, notice the color here, this blue, this is the regular blue, we can change this. Uh, remember we have blue or dark dash blue. Save this guy and run it. I don't know if you could really tell the difference, but it's a little darker. And I tend to like that a little bit more than just the regular blue. And also finally we have green. Change this guy to green. Save this guy, run it, and now we get this green color. So that's about all I really want to go through in this video. Just show you how to get a very quick app up and running. Use one widget. Going forward in this playlist, we're going to talk about each of these widgets in you know great detail. Show you how to use all of them, how to uh, kind of hack around with them and make them do interesting things. You can see on the website here. If you just if you're interested, you can click this video and you can see you know. Whoa, that's pretty big. <laughs> you can see. Uh, so the different options here, this is the light theme. That was the dark theme. Very cool. And like I said, we're going to get into all of this stuff in this playlist. So if you're interested in learning all this stuff, hit the subscribe button, follow along, and it should be a lot of fun. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome. It has all the Kinter Widget attributes spelled out all in one place. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com, and I'll see you in the next video.